Here at BoxyS, we have dozens of features, and everyone already knows about the most popular ones like simulcasting, viewer chat, overlays, and sharing. But what about some of those hidden features that will make your live stream a whole lot better? In this video, I'm gonna break down five features that you should start using as a BoxCast customer. Let's dive right in. Let's start with documents. Did you know you can add a document to your embed code for your website? All you need to do is convert that document to a PDF and add it to your broadcast. Now, when a viewer is watching the live stream on your website, you can have a document attached here. After a broadcast ends, you are able to add a video marker to the live stream, which makes it super easy to chapter your content. To do this, click on your broadcast and select the point where you want to add a marker to. Give it a name and hit save. Now you will see all these markers on your website embed code and your viewers can jump directly to the part of the live stream that they want to watch. Have you ever needed to stream more than one broadcast at a time? We make that super simple at BoxCast. You can either use multiple BoxCast encoders, a couple iPhones using our broadcaster app, or a mix RTMP encoders. When you do have multiple broadcasts going at once, you'll see them on the home screen of the dashboard. Learn more about this feature by talking to one of our customer success managers. Setting up your broadcast months in advance can help with planning and making sure you never miss a live stream. When scheduling a broadcast, click on Recurring Series. This will allow you to schedule up to 100 broadcasts in advance. You can also bulk edit all these broadcasts or edit them individually. This is great when you're working with volunteers because they don't even need to go in the dashboard to get a broadcast started. Flow control is unique to our live streaming encoders, but it can really save your broadcast if your internet connection is just not the best. I saw the power of flow control when I was live streaming my daughter's basketball game. My internet connection was horrible and I had so many parents excited to watch the game and I didn't want to let them down. I started the first broadcast and it was just not watchable. I had a ton of packet loss. So I started the next live stream with maximum flow control enabled and the game streamed with no issues. If you currently struggle with your internet speeds, you need to enable flow control on your BoxCast encoder. You can do this while scheduling a broadcast or making the default setting on your encoder here. And let me give you one bonus feature that's really close to my heart, but I was on our support team for five years and this has to be one of the most underrated features we have at BoxCast. Our support team is available every day of the week to help you with your live stream. It could just be a simple question or something more advanced, but at least you can chat with them, call them, or email them. I think this is something that is crucial because if you're having any issues, it's nice to talk to an expert who can help you with a problem. As I mentioned, these are just a couple of the many features we offer at BoxCast, and if you'd like to learn more about them, click on the links in the description. What's your favorite BoxCast feature? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and happy streaming.